What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the exposure recovery of the Fujifilm X-H1. We're going to be going four stops over and four stops underexposed and then trying to recover that in post to see how much we can actually get back. If you want to see more about our camera setup and camera settings, I'm going to throw all that in the description below. Now let's take a look at the footage and see how well it holds up. Here we have our correct exposure, so we're at an F4 ISO 800, and we're going to start by underexposing the image. On the left side, we have our actual shot, and on the right side is the recovered shot where we've brought it back in post, and this is one stop underexposed. Here we are at two stops underexposed down to an F8, and we're starting to see a little bit of a color shift in the recovered shot. Here is three stops. We're getting really dark on the actual shot, and again, more of that color shift on the recovered one. This is four stops underexposed. We're super dark in our actual shot. And we're getting a ton of noise and a lot of color shift in our recovered shot, and this is probably an unusable image. Now we're just gonna go back to our correct exposure shot only, and then we're going to overexpose the image doing the exact same thing. So again, on the left side is the actual shot being overexposed, and then on the right is the recovered shot. Here we are two stops overexposed. We're getting a little bit brighter, and we're actually keeping a really clean image in the recovered shot. Three stops overexposed opened up to an F1.4. We're starting to lose a little bit of detail in our recovered shot, and it's becoming really flat and then opened up as wide as I can with this lens to an f1.2. We're three and a half stops overexposed, and it actually looks pretty solid. We do lose a little bit of the highlight detail. It starts to sort of all blend together, but overall it looks really good for three and a half stops recovered. I hope you guys got something out of this exposure recovery test of the Fuji X-H1. If you wanna learn more about the camera, check out the other videos. We have a high ISO performance test, as well as just a camera overview. They'll both be linked to at the end of this video. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.